Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you are staying at home and are safe. As you know, schools and other educational institutions are locked, but knowledge and learning can't be. Let's continue with your learning of mathematics with me, Samia Bukhari. This is week three of online learning. You are studying chapter number one and topic is highest common factor. HCF is its short form. Students, it's not first time that you are coming across HCF. You have already some sort of knowledge about it from fifth class. It's time to boost your mathematical skills regarding HCF. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to find the HCF of two numbers or more than two numbers. You will also be able to find HCF by two methods. Method one is about listing given numbers as product of their prime factors. While method two is about division of given numbers by their common prime factor. Let's see how does it work. There are three steps in method one. First step is expressing numbers as product of their prime factors. Second step is taking out common prime factors of these numbers. Finally, multiplying these common prime factors to obtain SCF of given numbers. In method two, we divide given numbers by their common prime factors. And we continue dividing until there are no common prime factors. Finally, we multiply these common prime factors to obtain SCF of given numbers, just like we do in method one, step three. Students, open your book with page number 15. Here you can see word example nine. It is solved for HCF of two numbers 18 and 30. First, we understand it according to method one. You can see both numbers 18 and 30 are reduced to their prime factors. Then common factors are taken out, which are two and three. 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 and it is SCF of 18 and 30. On right side, you can see that prime factors of both numbers are written with index notation. And common factors are taken out with smallest index notation. So common factors are same 2 multiplied by 3. Remember students, for HCF, only those common factors are taken out which have smallest index notation. Now we understand this example according to method 2, which is division method. You can see 2 is a common prime factor of 18 and 30. 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15. Now 3 is a common prime factor of 9 and 15. So the VN is continued. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Now there is no more common prime factor of 3 and 5. So here, division is stopped. And common prime factors are taken out, which are 2 and 3. 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. And this is HCF of numbers 18 and 30. Here you can see this answer is same as it was in method one. 
we can conclude that both methods of finding HCF are correct. Now move to next page. Here is an example of HCF of three numbers, 40, 60, and 100. First, we understand it according to method one. Given three numbers are expressed as product of their prime factors. Then, common prime factors are taken out, which are two multiplied by two and multiplied by five. Their product is equal to 20, which is HCF of given three numbers. On right side, you can see prime factors or given numbers are written with index notation and common prime factors are taken out with smallest index notation. Their product is also equal to 20. According to method 2, given three numbers are divided by common factors and division is continued until there is no more common factor of 2, 3 and 5. So division is stopped here and common factors are taken out and their product is equal to 20. So answer is same just like of method one. It can be concluded as there are two proper methods of finding HCF. Method one is about listing method through which given numbers are expressed as product of their prime factors. While method two is about division method through which given numbers are divided by their common prime factors. Students, you will be successful for understanding this lesson if you remember to find the HCF by a proper method and to multiply common prime factors to get the HCF. And if you express prime factors of given numbers with index notation, then choose those common prime factors which are with smallest index notation. Your weekly written tasks include practice now 9 and practice now 10 with similar questions 1 and 4 of exercise 1b. If you have any question, then do ask in class WhatsApp group. Allah Hafiz.